This is how to use the Tally Health Biological Age Test. After watching a podcast of Dr. Sinclair's on his biological age theories and talking about his biological age test, I was curious to see what my results would be considering that I have very healthy habits today, but I have very bad habits in the past. There are multiple packages available on their website and you can get anything from like a three month or a six month or whatever of service, which includes a consultant. I believe that actually included some of the supplements as well, or you can buy just the age test by itself. My choice was the test only, more or less from curiosity to kind of see what this is all about and what it tells me. And if I'm high or low, my estimate is I'll either be about nine years low or about nine years high, depending on if the damage I did earlier is reversible as far as the body's concerned. But I'm already doing everything I can to be healthy. There's not a lot of changes I can make. And I have such a short exit ramp at this point anyway because of the heart. So I'm just trying the test by itself. First thing we'll do is open it up. All right, you get basically a, you get a booklet. You get a first things first. And you get the little kit. So because they actually want you to do this first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, it looks like, or at least 30 minutes worth, I will go ahead and wait and do this in the morning. All right, now that it's the next morning and I haven't eaten anything since a, just a little collagen shake that I had right before the pool and that was several hours ago, so I should be at the right time to take the test. The first thing it wants you to do is register your kit with the QR code, so take your whiz -bang phone. Welcome back. So by Chrome. Password, uh, let's see if that's right. Dan, register your test. On this barcode is the number they want you to use. So it says TH is the code that it starts with, and they just want you to add what's after the TH, just those numbers. Now it goes through the instructions. Do not eat or drink for 30 minutes before taking it, fine. Follow the instructions carefully. So open the package, just a split top. And it looks like a seal right there, so it's resealable, so you don't like destroy the pouch, just take everything out of it. Because I assume you have to use this again, perhaps. So I've got my bio bag, got a little vial, and I've got a swab. After removing contents from the package, open the swab by pulling apart the peel here, which is on the non-cottony end of it. So it's peel here. And obviously we don't want to get anything touching the business end of the swab. Be careful to touch only the plastic handle and not the soft tip. Next up, it says rub the soft tip of the swab up and down firmly against the inside of your entire cheek 15 to 20 times with pressure equivalent to brushing your teeth. Rotate the swab tip as you are rubbing. Cover the entire cheek from top to bottom and side to side. So 15 to 20 times back and forth, rotate as we do it and all the way up and down front and back. Unscrew the vial lid and hold steady in one hand. Slowly twist the swab into the vial with a corkscrew motion. There will be resistance, but push the swab to the bottom of the tube. Move the swab up and down rapidly inside the tube 10 to 15 times without moving the swab out of the fluid. And it doesn't say to rotate that step. Remove the swab by slowly twisting out with a corkscrew motion. Discard the swab, so I'm going to throw that away. Place the cap on the vial, close tightly, and put the vial in the biohazard bag. Do not place the swab in the biohazard bag. Place the biohazard bag with the completed vial inside. Okay, so back inside this package, so seal it, 
coil it back up here and make sure to seal that package. I'm just going to place it in the middle there. And I will also, just in case they need that QR code or something, I'm going to put it back in here. Now, the packing return label is right here. So it's not sealed. So that's kind of the only thing missing is I guess you have to use packing tape to wrap this. And then it says review. That's the number. Register. Fine. Finish. Okay. And then you have the option, I want to receive text updates. Sure. View dashboard. Verify your account. Fine. Okay. So I'm going to exit out of all that. It sends me a little, yes, Tally Health, we've got it. As instructed, I'm going to take a picture of the barcode number, which it should have in its system, but I'll take a picture anyway because that's what it told me to do. And now I need some packing tape to get this all stable here. Now I don't really want to mess with the barcode here for the UPS tracking and everything. So I'm going to put my tape right in the middle. So it's sealed this way. And I will also seal it on this edge and down here as well as the edge. Okay, so I've sealed every which way. They still are able to get a clean shot with their scanners at the two barcodes. So that should be good to drop off. I'll just put some shameless self-promotion of my <laughs> movie and book. There we go. Now in case they're looking for a motorcycle movie to watch or a book to read, they've got that too. And I'll drop this in the mail and this is going US PS. So you drop this in any local post office, not at the UPS store. Unless the UPS store will take mail as well. I received the results of my biological age from Tally Age. So let's open up the website and see what they show me. And it talks about how they do this. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read up all on how they actually measure your biological age. It's got to do with the DNA. So I assume it has something to do with sort of the unraveling of your DNA. Here's what we discovered, keeping you in suspense. Okay, so it's saying 48 years and two months, which is one year and one month younger than my chronological age of 49 years and three months at the time of taking the test. I told my sisters I was sort of expecting to be one of two things, either 10 years younger because of how I'm living now, which is very disciplined, I haven't had booze or even caffeine in over a year, eating very disciplined, swimming every morning, lifting every day, eating the right things, reducing stress, getting a good night of sleep, doing everything I possibly can. Or it would be 10 years older because of how I used to live in the past, drinking excessively to put it mildly, getting by on two to three hours of sleep a night for several years, and all the fun stuff that led to my open heart surgery when I was 34 years old. I know that the heart has been through a lot in life, as is the rest of the body. If the heart situation is any indication of the tax that I've put on my body through abuse in my youth, then that would be a good indicator that it probably would have been closer to 10 years older. So to me, what this really means is that the good habits that I'm exhibiting today for health are balancing out the bad habits that I had in my past, which just reinforces the fact that it's never too late to start living healthy. And sometimes things are repairable. Like I cannot go back in time and undo the damage I've done to my heart. However, for the rest of the body, the good habits that I'm practicing now are making a real difference. Again, it's never too late to start living healthy. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it matter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel below and let's celebrate turning fuel and air into adrenaline.